chris, the idaho cyclist. in this video, we're going to show you one little handy tip and that's actually oiling your chain and oiling your chain is extremely important to actually keeping that chain lasting longer, keeping it from squeaking and keeping it from wearing out your drive tank, your drive train and i actually oil my chain probably every three rides i actually oil the chain and just um, wipe off the excess oil with a rag and that keeps your train, your chain extremely lubricated and makes it last a lot longer. So I'm going to show you just the simple little process of oiling your chain. I actually use a product called BoShield T T9 and over the years this is the stuff I've I actually decided that I like the best and it's actually worked the best for me and it's something that doesn't collect a lot of dirt, doesn't make my chain real messy but this is a good product and I'm going to show you it's just a simple little product process when I come back from a ride I just put my bike on rack you don't even have to do it you could just have it <coughs> down on the ground lean it up against something as long as your your crank will run freely but I just take my my Boshill T9 and it just barely has a pinhole in it and I just drip a little bit of uh, lubrication on each one of these links. Just run along here and I'll run along the top and then I'll run it along the bottom just like this. And You don't want to have so much of it that it's dripping down on the floor. I typically never get any drips and then once I get those links lubricated I move it to the point where I haven't got the next set length or set of links and I'll just move it forward and just oil each one of them just like this with my T9 just squeezing just a little bit of lubrication on there then I'll rotate it forward again just drip a little bit of T9 on there then rotate it one more time until I've got all the chain lubricated and this is something you typically want to do you know, after you ride, because the T9 in most lubrications, you're supposed to wait an hour, so you don't want to do it right before you ride, because like this is a wax-based lubrication, and it takes time for the the carrier to whatever the wax is suspended in to evaporate and dry and leave the wax behind. So it's always best to do it after your ride. So you get done with your ride, just oil your chain, and then it'll be ready for your next ride. So once I get my oil on the chain, then I just take my rag and just set it right underneath to get any of the excess oil off. I usually wrap it around, chain just keep spinning it. Just like that and then it's good to go, ready and oiled for my next ride.